bang abogado dyan na who's okay. willing to fight. We're back uh, with Republica. We're talking about reforming electoral decay. Uh, the, <laughs> decay. It's a decay. Delay. That's a Freudian slip. <laughs> delay. <laughs> We're actually maybe perhaps on that point of electoral de decay. Anyway, uh, you were talking about 43 being deducted from Bongbong Marcos, Bong Bong Marcos and, and 13, 13 from Lenny from Robredo. Lenny Robredo. Okay. Um, there are two possibilities, Jan Eric. Okay. Uh, mga kibigan, uh, uh, there are two possibilities. There are two answers there. Uh, uh, One is that the machine just innocently, erroneously counted the votes. Okay. Innocent. Yes, yes. No, innocent uh, mistake. Ng yes, yes. Uh, okay. The other one is that. This could have been a manipulation. Okay. There was a manipulation using that kind of ano, uh -oh. using that kind of nagka error lang yung makina. Uh -oh. Okay. So there are two possibilities. Uh -oh. One is that it is an innocent error. Yes. The other one it is that it is intentionally uh -oh. done. Okay. Uh -oh. Ang ang sagot ko dyan is you look at statistics. Okay. Lenny Robredo got two more, two times more votes than Bongbong Marcos in Cebu Province. Okay. As well as in Cebu City. Okay. Malaki ang lamang ni Robredo doon sa Cebu. Why did that happen? In Cebu City and in uh, Cebu Province. Because? Well, uh, the governor is uh, Liberal Party. Okay. Okay, so siguro... Uh, yun ang sasabihin nila eh. Baka yun ang dahilan. The, the, yeah, well, no, no problem about that. Uh -oh. I'm not asking, I mean, I'm not questioning kung bakit Mas Robredo eh. has two times more, more votes, votes than Bongbong Bong Bong Bong. Marcos. Okay. If I remember, Robredo has more than 700,000 votes. Okay. Bongbong has 300-something thousand yes. votes. Uh, okay. So, two times more. Uh, okay. uh, uh. Now, if this were an innocent error, mm -hmm. ang, ang conventional wisdom, ang conventional thinking is, the more ballots for Robredo, uh, the more mistakes the machine could have could have be committed. Making. Oh, should uh, be making. Yes, yes. Kasi, remember, 700,000 plus ballots ang pumasok uh, para kay Robredo. Okay. So, dapat, mas malaki yung bawas kay Robredo kung innocent yung makina kasi hindi pumipili ang makina okay. ng error. Yes, yes, remember? yes. Remember? Yes, yes, yes. The machine will not... Hindi pipili ang makina ng error. It doesn't know the it, name anyway. It doesn't know the name anyway. Personality, so, oh. The more ballots for Robredo, oh. the more chances of mistakes. Yes. So, dapat, mas malaki ang bawas kay Robredo dyan. Oo. Oh. Bakit si Bongbong ang 43? Uh -huh. Ang nabawasan ng 43 at si Robredo ay 13. 13 lang. In other words, Bongbong was deducted three times more okay. than Robredo when in fact, Bongbong has two times less votes than Robredo. Okay. So, ang contention ko is that this is not an innocent error of the machine. Okay. This is a manipulation. Uh -huh. Retail manipulation. You know, is that done locally or is that done nationally? No, if, if it can only be done nationally, no? It can only be done by a program. By a program. Local or national? Because if you extrapolate that error, uh -oh. 43 votes, about 900 votes were deducted from Cebu City alone. Okay. And we're talking only of 834 precincts. Okay. 834 precincts for Cebu City. Uh -oh. Hindi pa natin pinag-uusapan yung 91,000 precincts across the country. Okay. Which could be sizable. Oh, 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 oh. Ito lang naman ang nakita natin so far. Uh -oh. So, my point kasi talaga is that if this was an innocent error of the machine, mas malaki ang nabawas dapat kay Robredo because she had more votes, okay. more ballots, uh -oh. more error. Yes. More yeah, chances it, it, it of makes error. Sense. Yes, yeah, yes. Oh. More chances of uh -oh. error. Uh -oh. So, dapat nga, kung 43 si Bongbong, dapat ang nabawas kay Lene would be 86. Yes. Because she had two times more yes, ballots more, than Bongbong yes, Marcos. Yes, yes. Uh -oh. E bakit 13 lang ang nabawas sa kanya? Uh -huh. oh. Bakit si Bongbong suffered three times more error than Lene Robredo? This kind of, I don't know, conspiracy, we're talking conspiracy theories here, no? Local, national level, it's the national that's doing this, or you have a national and on the side there's a special team that does this. Uh, as far as we know, that cheating for local positions was done locally. It's it's always local. Uh, that was no. They they did it using the regional hubs. Okay. Uh, the regional hubs. They created seven regional hubs. Okay. One was in Cebu City. Okay. Uh, supposedly, uh, ano yan? Um, the SD card uh -huh. is produced only at uh, Santa Rosa Laguna. Okay. In the memory configuration room. Okay. The memory configuration room is a highly secured facility. Okay. Not even the commissioners can get in. Can get in. So Only the identified ITD personnel of Comilac can, can go get in. there. Okay. And also Smartmatic. Because that is where the SD card is produced. 
And then what happens to that? that? That's six days before the elections. It's sent to no, no. Six days before the elections, mm -hmm. the Comelec sent out a resolution. I think it is. It was zero one one zero one one four. Oh. One four four. Oh. Resolu Comelec resolution one zero one four four. Establishing six regional hubs across the country. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, one was in La Union. The other in Tarlac. There was in General Santos in Sambuanga, Cebu City. So, in they duplicated. The memory configuration room in Santa Rosa, Laguna, in six other locations across the country. Ganon ba? Oo. Oh, oh. So therefore, pag may nasirang SD card doon sa presinto, may nasirang SD card oh, doon sa presinto, may they will go to the regional hub and then they will download uh -huh. the file uh -huh. from Santa Rosa, Laguna, uh -huh. over the internet. Okay. Unsecured using or secured? The, using the IFTP server, okay. which has not been reviewed. Okay. And it is, uh, it is actually open to, to... Anyone and everybody, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Ang ibig ko sabihin is that sinecure mo nga yung memory configuration room in Laguna oh, oh. with the highest level of security. And now, you did and not now, replicate it sa regional. And now you replicated it in six regions, uh, in six uh, locations across oh, the country oh. without the same security that you put the in Santa Rosa Laguna. Same security measures, okay. So in other words, you open the whole system for anybody to copy those files. And so, then put them in the SD card. So who is the boss in these regional hubs? That we do not know because we were not even able to to know to know it. Do na kami na nalaman na namin to after the elections. Could it be uh, there is one commissioner assigned to these regional hubs? Wala. They were not assigning it there. As a matter of fact, even the political parties walang bantay doon. Walang bantay doon because they they set it out only six days before the elections. Sino sa mga political parties were able to pre, to to watch it? Wala. So who do you the talk to? The media was not able to to watch it. If you were going to, to to cheat, you needed to talk to national and then go local or just local? No. You talk to the national. Sila na bahala dyan. Sa local? Because isang sindikato yan eh. Meron isang sindikato tao, o iba-ibang sindikato? No, isang sindikato yan. Isang sindikato, isang sindikato yan. yan. And then bahala it, na sila. It's not as if live and let live. Meron kang sarili dyan, meron kami no, dito. No, no. They did not, Isa talaga yan. They, it's one syndicate. It's one syndicate. And uh, they have people down. Pero iba naman yung independent operators. Oh, iba yun. Ito yung mga naghahanap buhay sa gilid. These are the rogue uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. in the <laughs> yeah. Comelec. Yeah. Meron oh, pa rin yan. Yeah, meron yan. Nagbibenta ng mga, ng mga dayaan na iba-ibang forms of dayaan. Okay. Meron yan. Yung tatanggalin yung mga pangalan sa voters data, data, ah, da okay. database. Yun. Oh. Meron yan. Mga Comelec officials, former Comelec officials. May They know how to do that. Nagbaba, uh, naglalako niyan. 500 per, per head. It, this one is what I will ask you now, Glenn. No? Uh, mm -hmm. When we had manual... If you compare it now to the computerized, did the computerization actually make cheating more easier? Yes, definitely. Rather than manual, no? Yeah. Sa manual kasi, and I'm not espousing a total manual election, yes, yes. because I, I believe it's a hybrid system that yes. will work best for uh, our country. Combination of both. Yes, yes. it's oh. a combination of both. Uh -oh. If you look at uh, uh, manual, the reason na naririnig natin na may cheating dito, may cheating doon, may cheating dito. It's because in a manual election, the cheating is also manual. Yes. And because it's manual, nakikita mo, nababantayan mo. And you, you witness actually, it. Yes. Yeah, you actually see it, you actually see it, and nababantayan mo, oh. and you can actually stop it. Oh, yes. My case... Kaya nagkakagulo minsan. Kaya nagkakagulo minsan. Kakagulo That's doon sa lugar, yes. Nagkakagulo dahil yes. nababantayan. At nakikita ng tao. Eh. Nakikita ng tao. Oh. That's the beauty of a manual election. Whether it's ballot snatching, whether uh, yes. palitan ng balota, yes. kita-kita lahat. Yes, no? okay. Yeah. That's oh. good. Oh. Manual elections, manual cheating, nababantayan mo. I have my own experience in that. Nabantayan okay. ko yung cheating in my place, I won. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's the beauty of a manual election. Is that the reason why Trillanes won also? In the la <laughs> in, no, because at that time, wala pang computerization, di ba? 2007. Oh, manual na pa ba tayo nun? Manual pa tayo oh, manual. Oh. Because if that was computerized elections, do you think he would have won? He could, uh, no, he would <laughs> not have won. Oh. He would not have won, correct? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. So, so <laughs> in, in an automated election, the oh. problem is, wala tayong naririnig na dayaan dahil wala tayong nakikita. Pulido. But it doesn't mean, yeah, pulido. Oh. It doesn't mean na walang nangyayari. Meron. Because after the elections, nakikita natin yung traces of cheating. Uh -huh. You cannot stop the cheating when it actually happens. Uh -huh. You can only stop the automated cheating after the fact. Yes. Nung matapos na. Yes. Dahil that's the time you were able to get the documents. Yes. Okay, so when you are able to get the documents, you're able to go through, you're able to study, uh, yes. that's when you see the telltale sign. Uh -huh. Nandun yung fingerprint of the criminals. Uh -huh. But you cannot stop them 
in flagranti delicto. Yes, 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 yes. That's the, the difference between manual cheating and automated oh, yes, cheating. Yes. In manual cheating, nababantayan mo talaga. And you can stop it. In automated cheating, wala tayo. Sitting pretty lang tayo lahat. We don't mm -hmm. know. Nangyayari na pala. Which system makes cheating, I'm not saying 100% proof, uh, uh, proof though, but which system makes it more difficult? Uh, to cheat. For, yes, to cheat. The manual elections. If that is the case. The manual elections is a lot difficult to cheat. Yes. Dahil nga may nagbabantay. Uh, Look, the watchers. Yes. The watchers there in the oh, precinct. Yes, yes. Sa manual election, alam nila kung anong babantayan nila. Yes. Sa automated elections, wala silang alam kung anong babantayan nila. Yes. Because everything happens inside the machine. Mm -hmm. So, anong silbi ng watcher? There's actually no need for watchers because they cannot watch anyway. Yes. Alam ba nila kung ano nangyayari doon sa loob ng makina? Yes. They, never know and they don't know anything. Yes, yes. So, that's why it's more difficult to cheat in a manual election. Yes. Because maraming bantay. Yes. It's so easy to cheat in an automated election dahil walang alam ang nagbabantay. Are we moving towards that hybrid that you're talking about? Wala pa. For as long as we have this kind of uh, mindset ng COMELEC, and the kind of people that they are there, wala tayong pag-asa. But let me just point this out, Eric. Yeah, yeah. In January of 2017, the Netherlands mm -hmm. moved away from, from automated elections. Okay. This is the recent uh, first world country to move away from uh -huh. manual election, uh, from automated election. Because, Bumalik sa manumanong because, bilangan. Because, ang sabi nila, hindi nakikita ng tao kung paano binilang ang boto. And it is not participatory, no? Yes. Kulang, no? In the case of the German Supreme Court, German Constitutional Court, Germany oh. also moved away. Yes, yes. Okay? Pero that was years ago. Yes, matagal na yun. Oh. Yeah. So Germany moved away from automated elections, balik sa manumano. Yes. Because ang sabi nila, the system cannot un be understood by non-specialized people. Yes. So, ibig sabihin, Ang ordinaryong tao, hindi alam kung paano binilang yung boto. And they should be involved in the process, di ba? Yes, because that is part of the right of suffrage. Yes. So, ang sabi ng Constitutional Court of Germany, balik tayo sa manumano. Yeah, yes. Okay, recently, 2017, January, uh -huh. sinabi ng uh, Netherlands, yung election natin sa Marso, uh -huh. Marso yun eh, January yes, yes, in-announced, yes. then March. Yes. Hindi na tayo magbibilang ng automated, no more automated elections. Uh -huh. We will count the ballots manually. They don't want to adopt a hybrid. Hindi rin. But ayaw nila ng hybrid naman. Hindi kasi, konti lang ang botante doon eh. 15 How about in Germany? Why don't they do a hybrid? Uh, no, but ang gusto kasi nila, no, the, if you go back to the decision of the Constitutional Court, it says, it, the system cannot be understood by non-specialized people. Okay. So, it's it, not a question it, of accuracy. It's a question it's of... A, it's a question of understanding the system. Does it, it, it's trying to enroll civic mindedness. That's what, yes. in short, that's what we're it's saying. It's actually empowering the people. Yes. Na, kapag hindi naintindihan ng tao yan, huwag natin gamitin yan. Yes. That's the point of Germany. Uh -huh. But in the Netherlands, ang sinabi hindi, babalik tayo doon sa um, um, manumanong bilangan. Ah, ito pala, I remember. Uh -huh. They're afraid of what happened to the U.S. elections. Okay. Yung uh, attempts by Russia uh -huh. to infiltrate the election system. Through computerization? Yeah, through computerized systems. Okay. So, natakot sila that Russia could also uh, uh, interfere uh -huh. in the elections, in an automated election system. And China can interfere with computerized in elections election in, system the in the Philippines also. That yes. follows, yes. Not necessarily China only, uh -huh. because there are other hackers out there uh -huh. who are also interested in our uh, uh, yeah, presidential remember, elections, ac according to Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. The Philippines is a prime uh, is a prime military estate. Okay, uh, we're, we're, we're going to pause for our final break, and uh, we'll talk about uh, the other pending issues when we return.